Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another Moon Colony live stream. I hope you enjoyed our our new little intro we have uh, we had there on the now starting screen. We have Nick's doing a little uh, doing a little a little bit of a podcast. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Alex probably didn't see it because probably weren't looking at the stream, were you? But yeah, uh, it's cool. I'll check check it, it out. Yeah, check it out afterwards. It looks cool. Um, <laughs> But uh, uh, today, as you can see, I've got Alex with us again. Hello, Alex. Hello. Um, How are you guys? Can you hear me, everyone? Hello. Yeah, let us know. Let us know if you can hear Alex. You might be a little bit quiet, but we can try and turn him up if we need to. Um, but today, uh, we're going to be doing some Fallout, some Fallout fan art. So uh, I, I approached Alex. Said, "Hey." This new trailer came out, and we need you to be the guy to do us some work for it. Um, <laughs> so I thought maybe uh, I mentioned a ghoul or some power armor, but Alex wanted to do a, uh, what is it, super mutant, is what they're called. Yes. It's been a while since I played Fallout. Should have uh, should have prepared more. But, but yeah. We're not using Photoshop today. We're using whatever this magical tool is that you have. <laughs> it's going to be the joy of painting. Yeah. Uh, with Moon Colony. Oh, yeah. I, I should, maybe I should get one of those Afro, fake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the fake Afro. Afro that, was, that would be awesome. <laughs> Next time. Uh, we need more budget in this uh, yeah. Moon Colony. Yeah. Well, I'll Definitely. talk to David. Talk to David and see what we can. See what we can get for a, for a costume budget. <laughs> oh, that would be good. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, yeah. you can start start whenever you like. Um, yeah, just vibing today, just chilling. Really? I mean, I can I can use a little nap before that well, if you if you don't mind. You can just. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me? You want me to take over? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, right. What is this app? This is the new mm. uh, Photoshop uh, exclusive edition for uh, real artists, like actual. Uh, what? What actually? What actually is it? I don't think we. I. It, 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 it's it's going to be a secret, I guess. I don't know. I I actually don't want to promote this software. <laughs> <laughs> because they they haven't updated a single time since I bought it, like for a year and a half, and I'm really mad because it's it's a really cool software, hmm. but they they haven't like posted a single patch for like a maybe. year and a half. So I don't want them to succeed anymore. Well, <laughs> maybe, like, maybe, in the beginning, was... maybe yeah? you should want them to succeed because the more they succeed, the more patches they'll bring out. Maybe maybe you're like the only person that's bought it. Yeah, that was a. Uh, I was I was very uh, enthusiastic in the beginning. I was like, "Yo, this is awesome! Like, why is nobody using that? You guys are awesome and stuff." And, like nobody. <laughs> I, I even wrote to them. I think. Wait, wait, uh, really? They were, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, on, like on art station, on, like on yeah. Instagram, like they totally ignore me. I mean, I was not like seeking attention. I was like, "Yo, this is awesome." Can you just add like this feature or something like that? Like nobody, nobody yeah. said anything. <laughs> it looks, it looks like it emulates like, it looks like it's trying to emulate traditional. It's like you're actually spreading yes. paint around, which is cool. Yes, yes, that's uh, actually it's probably. Uh, I, I mean, there are like so many uh, expensive softwares and like free softwares and. Uh, they're all trying to uh, make uh, emulation of uh, paint, but like mm. nobody does it. Like it, it all, it all sucks in everyone from like Coral Painter to like every software that's out there that I have tried. Like it feels just digital and rubbish, as they say in the UK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, and, and and this just feels right, but it has like nothing in it <laughs> does it have like any adjustments like uh, mm. brightness or like any fancy things like it. uh and, and and i would be fine with that because it's just, like 
aiming to be realistic. But it, it, it also has like some ridiculous limitations as for, for example, this one. This is as big as my brush gets. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if I want to like cover the whole thing, at least this brush, if I want to cover the whole thing, I will just like have to like manually. Yeah. You'll be there all day. Yeah. Do that. And that is kind of annoying. Just, just, just this. If they fix that, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy. I feel, I feel. Yeah. Also, like the optimization is uh, kind of like non-existent. It's, it's a bit heavy sometimes. I like, yeah, I like Leonie and Melissa's yeah. comments. You know, like Leonie is like, well, they don't need to update it because it's already perfect. And Melissa is like, no, you're an artist on a budget. <laughs> the store didn't have any bigger brushes anyway, so. It's it's, Ooh, it's, it's mimicking, just realistic. Yeah, it's mimicking yeah. real life. True, true. I mean, yeah. can't you like buy like one of those like wall? Yeah, like a paint things? roller. Yeah. Oh, how they're called in. Yeah, paint roller. <laughs> right. Let's 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 uh, draw. Yeah, let's get let's get in. I mean, it has layers. I don't know how they work. Honestly, I haven't like really dabbled with it too much. And this let's, can be this can be see. your opportunity to have a bit of a have a bit of a play around with it. Maybe you'll yep. maybe and you'll fall back in love with it. <laughs> Miserably <Yeah>. on stream. <laughs> like, what a great opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are making a super mutant. Those guys are like basically orcs. Yeah, they're and like orcs are like Yeah, they're like giant hulking green dudes. Yeah. So they're like def defiled orcs and like mm. I love orcs. Like this is one of my things, by the way. If I'm testing a brush or if I'm testing something, I always draw in a, a orc. <laughs> I don't know. What is what is your guys uh in chat go to test? Yeah. Do you have one? I mean I always like start like a, a simple face of an orc. <laughs> Usually. I don't know if uh, that's a thing or at least it's just like my 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 thing. Hmm. Uh, it just says he goes to a random face. Just a, okay, just a normal face. Um, yeah, or a face. Face faces are usually a good testing yeah. uh, subject for a brush because it's like if you can draw a face, you can draw anything. Usually, mm. like there are like fancy brushes that you can like draw a lot of cool stuff like rocks and like. Uh, yeah. Mechanical stuff and everything like that, but then you try to draw a face and it looks like a box, and it's you have like zero control over the, the edges. Yeah. Dragon face from side. Yeah, that's that's a good one, Melissa. I, I think I used to do something like that, mm -hmm. but it, was, it wasn't probably it. either a dragon or like a randomly velociraptor or something. Yeah. A goblin. That's or yeah, a dwarf. Oh yeah, like people, oh, yeah <laughs> that's the actual thing. Like people actually have that. Okay. Yeah, the only goblins are orc dwarfs. Skywarp doesn't orc. Alan doesn't uh yeah, Alan doesn't orc. Man. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. It's crazy. There's a lot of people like doing orcs as their like test their test benches. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Okay, let's let, I don't I'm not sure how I wanna I framed it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Can't draw. All of a sudden, okay, I'm drawing again. It, it broke. Uh, maybe it's a bit to the side, isn't it? <laughs> Alan also now says. Now, the problem with this is I don't think I will be able to move it if. <laughs> it's not like Photoshop, I can just grab it oh, and resize can't, it. And you like, can't just do any of that? You actually have to erase it? Oh, wait. I can. I lied. Oh, nice. I actually can. It's, uh, it's a bit of a you, you see this little like tool thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Can you only so, select? Um, can you select a part of it though? Or do you? Can you only move the no, whole thing? No. I don't think you can. I think it's just the the full thing. <laughs> Oops. Well, um, did we you've die? Dis <laughs> you've disappeared, and you're back. Hey, there we go. Whoa! You got it the wrong way around on the big screen. They updated it for you, you see, at there the end go. of the day, they're good. I don't think so, man. I 
don't think they did. I, I think I just maybe forgot. Is there mm. a, like an eraser <laughs> to <have> like pick it? <laughs> oh, you even you have like a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, you do. Okay, I have an eraser. Why, why I don't have that like pin <laughs> down? It has a highlighter and everything. What the? How do you pin things? Okay, I, I have a ra an eraser now. There you go. Amazing. <laughs> Alex Let's is go. secretly the canvas. Yeah, I'm testing it. These are new scenes. I've put some new scenes together. So if things start, start uh, going a bit wrong, because they're new. Okay. Uh, Nork is good because you don't have to be accurate. You can just go crazy with the proportions. True. Oh, and also I like orcs. That's 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 basically it. Mm. I, I like I picked his arm up, but then his face is like kinda should I wanna this uh, maybe maybe it will work. I don't know. Who cares? Honestly. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Bunny Baron. Welcome. Uh, you can move stuff in traditional art too. All you need is scissors and a bit of tape. <laughs> <laughs> all of the, all of the masters used to do that. They would just hack up their canvas and move stuff around until it worked. I think they just painted it like fifteen times. Probably, yeah. Yeah, but like, uh, I don't have the patience, like, actual artists. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they actually do, like, uh, versions of it, like, composition tests, like, cover tests, like, everything. Mm. Uh, like, James Gurney actually does, uh, like, miniature models to light them properly, wow. so they can be a bit more uh, a little closer to reality uh, mm. to nail the lighting down yeah, uh, yeah they, they they have like insane patience I, like sometimes I, I don't think I like art <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm I think I like it but like compared to them I'm like am I just like Pretending. <laughs> am I, am I pretending like, like, that I enjoy my job, or do I actually enjoy it? <laughs> yeah, they like go through like so many stages, like uh, testing the composition, testing the yeah. colors, uh, like miniature versions, then drawing a version of it that looks almost finished, but it's like a smaller mm -hmm. format, and then just pushing that to the. And uh, also with the three D models, uh, I mean not three D models, but. Uh, Uh, actual models, yeah, to make it more believable, and then it, he places it outside, and then takes pictures of it, and mm. all that. It's insane. Yeah, I saw that there was someone. And, and it's how you make good art, actually. <laughs> this is how you make good art. You 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 put the, the effort, you research, you uh, do all of the necessary things, and then you end up with good art, and then. When I just mash up something really fast and uh, end up with a bad looking art, I'm always like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm always surprised why, why it looks like shit. <laughs> and I shouldn't because like, I'm not putting enough effort in this. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you get out what you put in, I suppose. Yes, you do. I mean, like in everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's an okay composition. I would I would, I would go with that. Now he shouldn't be naked though. He should be, like make it more faloty. Yeah, be. they have they have bits of metal like straps to them and stuff. I think. Let me take another look at what a uh, actually looks like. Been moving traditional to. Uh, 
Oh yeah, they a lot of them have like shoulder guard and shoulder plate and stuff. Aldrin. I don't think there were any super mutants in the trailer, which was interesting. They had the um there's no way there won't be the actual uh, Oh thing. there's there's gotta like, be very iconic. Yeah, yeah there's gotta be. Like there was um they, they had a ghoul in there. I don't know if you I don't know if you watched the trailer, but yeah, there was a ghoul did, in did, there did. and he, he had such a smooth face. <laughs> like he looked like he'd been airbrushed. He's a charming ghoul. Yeah, sure. yeah, he's a handsome one. Christina says, I can't wait to see a death claw. Yeah, they're going to look cool. I really like the last Fallout game. Like, people didn't like it, but they really mm -hmm. loved that I can, like, build little settlements. It's like combining, like, two of my. Uh, two genres that I like, like crafting mm. and kind of like survival elements in that. Yeah. I think... Camera. Which camera? My camera. Oh, it froze, actually. True. Yeah. The, uh... Let me swap over for one. Like when, when such things happen, like and nobody actually says anything in chat, I'm like, is anyone even watching? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing. It's a good People thing. People are probably just using it as a radio and just uh, cooking. I can see on the, the side. I can see the visual problems. It's the audio ones that uh, are a struggle. But let me swap over to my other one. Oh, wait, you instead. have like 15 cameras. You are prepared, aren't you? <laughs> Professional broadcaster. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Probably has a, like a spare mouse or something. <laughs> if something goes wrong. I uh well I'm on a I'm on a laptop so I have a, a mouse pad luckily. And then like base I want him to be more. From above, a bit more shallow or something. Um, you are frozen again. Uh, yeah, that's. Way. Yeah, I'm um. Currently changing the camera. Um, that said, Alex, are you using any references? Um. Yeah, I'm, I mean, not for the pose, just for like what how kind uh how does uh, like those guys look have like a, a little concept of of a super mutant and a two screenshot from the game just to like kind of guide me a bit mm -hmm. in the direction but other than that no not on this one at least but yeah i should be using references if i want to um, be a better artist. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about getting back into Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was great. I never actually finished... I've never finished a Fallout game. I own all I've of them. I've never finished a Bethesda game. Let's go, <laughs> with, with, <laughs> go with them. I've... Well, uh, let me think. Have I finished Bethesda games? No. No, I haven't. I've never even finished Skyrim. I just did all of the side exactly. content, and I was like, the, yeah. the other stuff is boring, so I don't want to do that. 
What did you do? Uh, the side content? Yeah, yeah, in Skyrim, I just yeah. did like all of the side exactly. stuff and then was like, yep, I'm good. Thanks, guys. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much the same thing. I'm, I mean, I, I, I became a mage, a assassin, a thief, a werewolf. Yeah. A bunch of things with different characters. And then I was like, yeah, I'm good. They're like, yo, you're the dragonborn. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <mistaken>. <laughs> wrong guy, sorry. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I am the, the thief guy. <laughs> Uh, Melissa and I are judging you. Don't don't judge me, okay? They're, it's not my fault. the The main storylines of no. Bethesda games are just pretty. They're just pretty, <laughs> pretty boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm like like you exactly. I haven't like, yeah. finished any any game. I, I mean, I love the games. Uh, it's not like yeah, I don't yeah, like them. Yeah, me too. I just don't finish them. They're like too big. <laughs> yeah. I even I even liked a bit the new one the the star star what was it the star, 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 starfield starfield yeah yeah, yeah. I even kind of like that even though it's like it was a letdown for, mm. from what I was expecting for sure yeah I heard a lot of I heard a lot of mixed things about it to be honest so. But these are like they insist on using their like one million years old engine. Are they still are they but still they using cannot... it? Yes, they are. And it, it just cannot handle what people are expecting nowadays of a game. Like no loading when you open a door, for example. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and that is the fact. I mean, like there's. That's like one of the biggest me memes about the game that you actually have loading on most doors, like interiors and everything. Yeah. Which is kind of like ridiculous when you have like giant expansive worlds on in in other games. Yeah. With, without a single like loading screen, except like the initial one. So like the thing that I hated most was the uh, that you can't fly from a planet to a planet, and there is like no reason you can't do that. But it's just it broke my immersion like so fast. They're not. They're not like... Yeah, you, you go in your ship and then you go in space and then you have to open your map and click on a planet and then you like load in there. It's just it's really not that hard probably to be done. They were like nah. Who will need that? I mean, uh, I know it's a feature that, like, uh, you probably... Uh, if you have, like, a fast travel option, you'll probably never fly to a planet. Yeah. If it takes more like, than uh, five minutes, but you, you still kind of want to have the option to do that. For example, I am always, always... Uh, Always angry at games that don't let me sit at in chairs. <laughs> don't let you sit <laughs> like, in chairs. And get those yeah, nice that's like the worst screenshots. things for me. Uh, what? Like I, I, I get immersed. I get immersed in the in the game and like this is uh, this is a nice place and then you see like a like a chair on in a balcony and you're like, I, uh, can I sit there? No, you can't. And I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> My experience is ruined. <laughs> I don't know people. People like different things in games. I guess I like sitting in the, like sitting in chairs. Sit in chairs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really need to like um, fix the colors of my tablet. I am seeing definitely different green from that on the on the other one. <laughs> from the other one. Uh, you see, Leonie understands. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows what's up. This is worse for me in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I can't sit in chairs. Amen. You see, yeah. we are a tank. 
people. I I was like I'm, exist I'm the type of person I'm the type of person that is always like, why why can I sit in this chair? Like what? <laughs> why would I want to do that? <laughs> it really does help me uh, with the immersion. Like I want to be able to uh, do like mundane things in those worlds. Like, yeah. I want to be able to. Uh, I don't know, eat, sleep, and all, all, all of those. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to a like annoying degree. I don't want to be able to like, yo, you need to go to the toilet. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's <laughs> just the enjoyable thing, I guess. Yeah. When you see it, like a um, like if you pl have you played like Monster Hunter? Yeah, yeah, I played Monster. I mean, how? I mean, uh, the new one, the uh, world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not really a new one currently, but yeah. I mean, in that game, how cool is it when you see the chef cook the food for you, right? And yeah. you see your character eat it. It's amazing. I, I but skip then you... that every time. Yeah. You, you What do you do? You skip it? <laughs> yeah, I skip it. <laughs> that, that's why we don't have nice things, man. <laughs> I'm like, this takes, this takes way too long. I appreciate it. I watched it. I watched it once. And I was like... No way. That, that was that no. was me done. Yeah, you know, just, sorry. I just, just wrong. Sorry, you you see, that's why we we can't have like uh, games that please everyone because you just like things because that I, I ruin like, it. No, I mean like <laughs> that. When whenever you think it would be perfect. If there was a game like this, there will always be a person on the other side that's going to be like, this is the worst yeah. idea ever. I would never want to have this in a game. <laughs> Aiden, we must live out our fantasy of being able to sit anywhere unlike in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, know, you got to get that escapism of being able to sit anywhere you want. Let's try to add some new values to this because like, I'm not really sure where, he, where is this going at currently. <laughs> You can just sit down at a bar, they expect you can't just sit down at a bar, they expect you to buy something. Uh you can you can do that. Like when you go into a you just go into a coffee shop and sit down and do nothing for like for or those people there's those people that work in coffee shops. They just go take up the seat, use the Wi Fi but never buy any coffee or anything. You could just be one of those people. Um I mean, it, those it, people, but I won't say it on stream because like Christina will be mad at me. You say you are one of those people. No, no. Oh, I mean, there's oh. a name for those people. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not very nice people. <laughs> yes. That's, that's what we say. Nice people. That's <laughs> illegal. <laughs> so yeah, Melissa, that's illegal. It should be, but I don't think it is. I think a lot, a lot of coffee shops would probably ask you to, to buy something, but you see a lot of people online who are like, who are like, yeah, I own a coffee shop, and it's too awkward for me to do anything about it. A lot of people are really like in the barista clubs or something. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I never have seen you, to complain not... in the internet. <laughs> Wait, you not? Well, I, I watch a lot of I watch a lot of um, for someone who doesn't like coffee, I watch a lot of coffee YouTube content. So I haven't watched ever this. <laughs> oh, it's but... just it's just kind of cozy. It's nice. I I watch uh, those survival videos in the wild. Oh Sometimes. yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> this like I cannot see Jaden stream ruin. Let me hold on. Let me see if uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That kind of works. Here, look at you. Hello. Actual. I'm back from a different well, angle this time, but I'm back. Yeah, the other camera, the uh, the battery, battery dump. Sorry. So, how about that GTA trailer? Okay. The GTA, the GTA trailer? Oh man, that that looks good. That looks like it's gonna be real. And I hate when they post trailers like two years before the actual release. Yes, me too. I I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, so it must be coming out sort of middle of next year or like September next yes, year. Yes, I was thinking it was next year. Honestly, that yeah, was, that was my. But no, it's like it's 2025. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks, guys. 25. That's that's insane. It's barely even a year. It's like if it's the end of 2025. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. For, for two years. And it's just. It's um, probably going to be at least the summer. I think. I, I think it's gonna. Be, I think it's gonna be towards the end. I think it's gonna be like. October or something. Yeah. But September September could be it. Feeling I'm feeling September. But I was I was shocked when I what was it? Someone someone mentioned the other day to me, they were like, Yeah, by the time it comes out, GTA five will be fifteen years old. I'm like, What? What? Really? Yeah. That's kind of insane. Yeah, it, it is absolutely, it is absolutely nuts. I mean, yeah, it was pretty. There was a came a long time ago, at least on a console. Yeah, PC. Yeah, PC was a few years later, I think. But yeah, they always do that. Yeah, they're doing the same with this one as well. Yeah, PC exactly. releases. I mean, I used to be pissed about that, but then I bought a console and I don't care now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, I, I, when I heard that it was coming out late for PC, I was like, oh man. And then I went, oh wait, my PC wouldn't be able to run that anyway, so I'm just going to get it on my PlayStation instead. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, those games are meant to be played on a console. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It just played better mm -hmm. on the console. Should I make like a Sun City thing? What color? Pink? What? Yeah, we have green. Oh man, it looks so much more saturated on me, my other monitor. I turned Irish for a second. I was going to say on my other monitor. <laughs> on my other monitor. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have like green and red. So what? Blue. Blue would be the biggest contrast. Do we want? Yeah. Big contrast. I don't know if I want a big contrast though. Maybe I don't. I kind of like this purplish, pinkish. Oh, no colors. I'm a <laughs> digital artist, not an actual artist. Like this is the biggest flex for, uh, for an artist, <laughs> for at an least artist. for me. When when they call colors by the actual names, like uh, cadmium red and like ultramarine oh, yeah. blue or yeah. anything like that, I, I use uh, like a bit of whatever is <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's it's easier it's easier for a traditional artist who is limited by the the, the paint that they've got <laughs> you know, they're limited with the paint on their palette and they kind of just have to mix them together but yeah it's like when you're watching bob ross and he's just they're, like, they're just flexing they're just his? flexing no no yeah it's an actual thing 
You can just say I used green, right? <laughs> <laughs> a bit of green here. He's like, yeah. I used a bit of ultramarine. Uh, and then a splash of uh, uh, red umber. You're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it, it sounds cool. Always, I'm like, uh, when, when somebody's using uh, color names confidently, I'm like, it's secretly pretty, yeah. a bit uh, intimidated. You, only, I'm like, you yeah. only get so upset because you're jealous, Alex. It's okay to admit it. Yes, yes. It's, <laughs> I, it is. I mean, that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I want to learn them, but not because it will make me a better artist, just to flex on people. <laughs> just to flex on people. <laughs> Melissa says Melissa said that she saw it as uh like elitism until they got a box of uh they wrote gosh goosh, but I think gouache? it's gouache, yeah. Uh, until they got a box of gouache colours. Dash says they talk like that. Oh, just a better artist. That means. This tool is cool because it like mixes the colors as you put it down. Yes. Exactly. Then I'm questioning about the pink. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I, I cannot do anything about it. I just have to like try to play paint over it. Yeah. You know what? They, they should add a, a 3D view. So you can look at all of the layers and layers and layers of paint that you've just stacked on top of each other. Actually, they do have something like that. Uh, let me let me let me just let me just save. Actually, can I yeah. save? Can I <laughs> save? <laughs> no, you have to you have to take out the canvas, Alex. Come on. Uh, I don't know. If it crashes. This is this is it. Stream over. If it crashes, it's, it's, it's my fault for bringing it up. Um, it's easy to follow along when they use the names of colors. It's like Pantone, so you know which colors you're talking about. It's easy to follow along. Now, now Millet is just flexing. No. Yeah. She knows the names of colors. Good job, Millet. Good job. <laughs> It's how, it's how Melissa got her job at Moon Colony, you know. They lay down a palette of colors and went, can you name all of these colors? <laughs> Imagine if that was an actual thing. <laughs> you know what? It probably is if you worked at like a paint this factory or something <laughs> like what school have you finished paint factory yeah <laughs> there was a that. um there was a a trend on there's like a short form video trend a while back of people who work at like paint places and they'll just be like, paint my client, places? like my client asked for a, um, for a purpley, a purpley orange, pink wall paint. So here's how I'm gonna mix it, and it's just them mixing paints together to get like the perfect shade. I'm like, okay, well, cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like yeah, they, they do that in the in the store. <laughs> you just go and they mix it for you. Uh, yeah. And like, uh, I don't know what stores you have in, in the UK, but yeah. I think I think we do have, I think they have places like that in. Um, there's like a chain of home improvement stores like B and Q, and Home Base, which I think do paint mixing and stuff. Yeah, but I can I can never be bothered to do that. I just go and buy buy a tub and. Just... I mean, it's good when you actually uh, want like a specific paint, and then you have to like remember the mix number if like you run out of paint. Yeah. And uh, you want to like make some more. Hmm. Yeah. 
when I when I first moved into my flat, I was like, yeah, I know what colors I want for each of my each of these rooms. So I'll go out and I'll buy all the paint and then I'll do it. I went out, got a whole bunch of paint, came back and instantly forgot what rooms I wanted, what colors. And so I was just like, I was like, uh oh, <laughs> I haven't painted like there's one there's one room that I haven't painted yet because I have no idea what I want to paint it. <laughs> You should ask one of your moon colony artist friends. Yeah, maybe. Like, hey, do some color theory in my in my flat, thanks. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why are you not abusing your power <laughs> powers more. <laughs> like, like, you want to paint Jaden, and you're like, hmm, what do I want on my wall? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I need his character, and I'll be like, totally okay. I'll be like, yeah, sure, fine. <laughs> I, I can know, say man. I have a blue artist actually paint me this for free. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I can like my book. I just feel like at some point that becomes like an abuse of power, and I don't feel like I should be allowed to do that. <laughs> I mean, I would totally do it. I don't know. What. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of I get a lot of like portraits done of me though, so you know, there's something. <laughs> Although I'd look a bit. I'd look a bit narcissistic if I got all of those printed out and put on a wall. So, maybe not. Um, Dash has asked, have you got any tips for drawing buff characters? My mutant always... Uh, my mutant looks so flat even though he has muscles. Um, if he's looking flat, then your shapes are not... Uh, not there. I mean... <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's a full like a lesson, uh, but yeah, you need to have like clear differentiation of uh, shadow and light in order mm. to paint any type of form. Not only like buff characters, of course, buff characters will uh, have a lot of shapes and like stuff, and that will definitely be more noticeable on them but if you have like a strong directional light like I'm not really focusing currently on that because uh, I am getting distracted but you need to like have okay this is okay I will, I will just paint along and speak okay this is like the light part of the hand so now I'm going to make the shadow part of the hand and those are like should be completely different realms like you need to know where that happens mm -hmm. and then you just it's about like edge control uh, this is obviously a circle a circular form so you need like a soft edge on there There you have it, you have like 3D shapes, simple as that. Like, it, it's really nothing more than that. You just need to separate your uh, light and shadow in order to have uh, this 3D effect. Mm -hmm. Also, there's like little nuances that help with that. Uh, for example, over, over, over shading any of those, like either the shadow or the light, will only make this 3D effect worse. Uh, for example, if I have like a lot of like little breaking downs, so like here is a muscle, and then there is like uh, this uh, here, little veins, and then the skin here, and then and it just ruins this. Yeah. To like clearly separate, like for example, this here is kind of like muddied, and uh, this it's not really paying attention much, so it's kind of lost. But if your if your shapes are starting to uh, look flat, just focus on separation of the light and shadow. Like for example, this little crevice here is kind of like ruining this 
Okay, this, this is... It's just like the light realm and the shadow realm. <laughs> we need to have a like, clear differentiation. There, there is like... Uh, what was it? Like the lightest value in your shadow should be always... Oh, Oops, I know. I yeah, I know. <laughs> the latest oh. value in your shadow should be always uh, darker than your darkest value in your, in your light. light. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to... <laughs> like, in the middle of the uh, sentence, I like, what, what was I talking about? I, <laughs> I was trying to think of that exact phrase, like, that exact phrase um, the other day. And for some reason, I, I had the same thing where I was like, Trying to think about it, and no matter what way I thought around it, I was like, "This doesn't make any sense." And then I, yeah. Uh, thank you, Leone, for the for the hydrate redemption. Thank you so much. Drink some more. Um, I say, gotcha. Make sure that the primary forms are working. For Primary forms. Yeah, gotta make sure they're working. Send them to work. But yeah, if uh, that's the main reason why your painting is looking flat, hmm. I can guarantee it. Like, if it was looking, like, wrong, that's a different problem, but if it's looking flat, your shadows and lights are, like, mixing together. <laughs> you gotta make sure those primary forms pay your rent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They ain't working, and you gotta make them work. Did you um, make your Christmas decoration de decorations? I uh, I've I've put up my Christmas tree. Yeah, my Christmas tree is is up. It's messy, but it's there. Uh -huh. Normally, when when I was younger, and I would help my grandparents and my uh, my parents put up their Christmas trees, I would do all of it. And I would be like, "Yeah, this is great," and then they would they would redo it again because I just made an absolute mess. <laughs> but now I live on my own, so it can be as messy as I like, and uh, no one can complain. <laughs> like somebody saw it through your window and <laughs> files a complaint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is this ridiculous tree? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's in the letter can to I... the yeah, it's in the letter to the local like. Police and they come round and take my tree off of me or something. <laughs> but what about you? Let's have you got yours? Have you got your decorations up? Oh, uh, I haven't done decorations for like a lot of times. So I just just leave my wife. She she has a knife for it for cute things, homey things. Yeah. To be fair, I'd I'd like to get more decorations, but that costs money. And uh, oh, I went out and like bought like like one pound like <laughs> uh, Christmas decorations today. <laughs> like you can go and find very cheap ones for sure. Yeah, that's true. Although I managed to get how much did all of my Christmas uh, my tree decorations? Lost. That was probably about, I don't know, 40, 40 pounds, I think. Not bad, not bad. 40 pounds? Plus the tree? Or... Um, yeah, plus the tree, yeah. Well, the, the tree was um, my sister's old one, so I didn't have to actually pay for that. Just gave it, gave it to me. Then it's not close to tree. <laughs> yeah, the well, tree is like tree, tree is plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I, I, I'm not liking the fight and I will have to like figure out the problems that I was speaking about. Like, there's a lot of breakup in the shadow, so mm. my eyes getting confused. What am I looking at? So let's try to simplify things. Oh. Uh, Al says I have to buy a real tree every year. Oh no, I couldn't. No, I couldn't do that. How much does I mean, that cost? I would love to. Uh, they're not that expensive, honestly. No. I mean, it depends. If it's like in a in a in a vase, that that would be more expensive. If it's uh, like okay. cut and real, that would be hmm. less expensive for sure. Oh, I've never like they, had. Like in my country, they do uh, so, uh, like scams. <laughs> What's <laughs> that? Like my wife told me that uh, they have been scammed twice with her like family. Wow. Uh, a person just buys a cut tree and put it in a vase and like adds rocks in the vase to make it like even heavier. Like in with dirt, and then it just uh, your your tree just fades, uh, like goes dry really fast. But it's like he saves, uh, like he pays like ten bucks, and then he sells it for fifty, like a actual tree in a vase that <laughs> you can actually. Um. Uh, yeah. No. Well, I've... I've I've never had a, uh, I've never had a real tree. We've always had had fake ones. Oh man, like my grandpa. Uh, what was it? How do you plant it? Like a oh, tree okay. when I was born. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's my favorite tree in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's a different feeling when you own something like that. Also, yeah. they had like a bit of land above uh, with a forest, which is not a thing you can own actually uh, in my country, as mm -hmm. far as I know. But it's kind of owned by us. Like I was like, who owns a forest? Am I like a <laughs> prince? <laughs> You can, you can buy a horse and just ride in your own forest. Yeah. That, 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 that. But that, that's much cooler than uh, having a car for me. If I own a forest, for example. Dude, that's I would I would love to own a forest. Cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Right. That that sounds so much cooler. Yeah. <laughs> I have a forest. Imagine yeah. if you own a mountain. That would cool be that, that would be cool. Is that, that insane? I mean, what would you even do with I mean, a mountain? That's the thing. You you own it. That, that, that's. <laughs> yeah. You just own it. I don't know. I mean, no wonder people killed other people for such things in the past. Like, <laughs> I want this land. This is cool. I want a mountain. I'll kill you. It's <laughs> not right. But I would be happy with a forest. You know, you right. could just build your own little cabin in the in the woods and just hang out that'd be nice <laughs> you'll be talking to your friends yo you want to hang out in my forest <laughs> you want to hang, hang out in the forest that i bought <laughs> <laughs> did you even buy such things in like in uk i know like they mm -hmm. it's owned by the like you kind of like rent it from the yeah from the royal oh. family or something was it like that I don't I don't think so. I think there's a place not far from me, like a section of woodland that um that you can buy. But it could be that it's um it could be that it's like when you buy a flat and you only own that bit of land for like X amount of years. Or it, yeah, that's called renting. No, it's not <laughs> yeah, renting, it's, it's um it's on like leasehold yeah. or something. Yeah, it's just it's not yours, it's just you, you can have it for a bit. Yeah, you like, like in my country, you can buy it and it's yours forever. Oh, like, okay. In, like, nobody can take it from me. Not the, in, in the in the whole like, hmm. country. So 
it's, it's really weird that you guys kind of like rent stuff and like what? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of complicated because like so my flat for example has like 90 years on it so i can technically own this flat for like 90 years but then Renting. yeah but then after that i then need to like extend if i wanted to stay longer than 90 years which i i hope i don't stay here for 90 years um then i can like pay a couple of hundred quid and get it extended but it's, it's weird it's super weird, like, you own it, but then you have to, like, pay us. Yeah. Like, every now and then, every hundred years, to own it again. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like... not well... owning it at all. You, you're not owning it. It's just like, yeah. we, we gave it to you for a bit. Yeah, it's really strange. Oh, we had another hydrate. Thank you, Skullpel. Actually, do that. Um, it's weird, because inheritance doesn't make sense, then. Uh, I mean, it it kind of... I, I don't know. I don't know how inheritance works in that situation. It's right, it's, it doesn't. Unless... It, well, that's... well, no, it, it, it kind of does, because you can you can pass it you can pass it on as long as there's still time left on the lease. But what are you passing on, just like... Uh... You're passing on your... <laughs> you're passing on... Well, the same, as what, the same as what you'd pass on if you had bought, like, a house or something. No, you, you, you don't. I'm like in my country, you pass it on. He has it for free forever. You just pass on like, <laughs> the credit. There you go. You can pay that. Uh, next, wait, I'm uh, sorry. Next I'm... <laughs> I'm not old enough to know or care about how, who's gonna get my flat when I die. <laughs> That's how they get you, though, right? They're like, yeah, you but... won't be alive. What do you care? I mean, I'm hoping that I don't have to live in a flat for the rest of my life. I'm hoping that at some point I'll be able to leave and get an actual house. But then our house is different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, houses are, are different. You, you own, you own it forever? The yeah, land? Yeah. yeah. The whole land, not just the, the house? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, then you have a... At least as far option. as I know. Is this super green? My god, this is extra green on the other screen. <laughs> <laughs> you have to play the game. The guys, of, you have to play the game of which one is which one is calibrated wrong. <laughs> My tablet is calibrated wrong and and the and I'm just too lazy to fix it. Yeah. I bought an actual calibrator. I didn't even know that was a thing. It is a thing. And I never calibrate my monitors. So. Yes, you're not an artist. Yeah. I mean, not as far as I know. Maybe you are. That, that could have been very insulting. Uh, that, hurt. that hurt, Alex. But yeah, it's... Uh, I bought one just for this exact reason. So that I don't want <laughs> one. But I'm just too lazy to do it. <laughs> it's to like, do it. You have to like install a software and just go through like steps and like, yeah, is it that bad? And then I just, ah, it's not that bad. And then I look something like that. And there's, this guy is like super green. Like my screen is like grayish green on, mm -hmm. on the other screen. He's like a watermelon green. <laughs> Yeah, he's more he's more watermelon green on on ours, but fine. Uh, Ash says, "Oh dear, those things aren't cheap." Although calibration things, I mean, they are kind of. I mean, they're not really cheap, uh, but uh, they are like some affordable ones. The one that I bought was like eighty pounds or something. Okay. It's not, it's not really cheap, but it's, when you're a professional artist, you would yeah. benefit from having your client actually see what you have painted. <laughs> yeah. And not like, what, what is this? Why is it like, you never asked for a pink guy? And you're like, mm. no, why? Pink? He's not pink. Gray. He's gray, <laughs> yeah. Dude, if, you, if you're painting pink and he's coming out gray, <laughs> there is something wrong. <laughs> right, can I like try to 
Oh man, this is the struggle of actual painters. Like, if this was Photoshop, I would just move a slider and it yeah. won't be <laughs> too green anymore. <laughs> and now I have to, like, find the right value mm -hmm. and just, like, try to paint over it. Madness. People don't know how good they have it. Like, <laughs> You don't Photoshop. know how lucky you are until you do traditional virtual paintings. <laughs> <laughs> or virtual traditional painting. Let's see. It's a bit better with the little grey. Mm. Slide gray right here, slide gray right here. I'm I'm looking at the other monitor and trying to <laughs> You're looking up it. here and drawing down. Yeah. Are most forests and mountains in the UK crown land or something? Yeah, I think so. I, I think I think that the crown does own a lot of our and forests and, stuff, and uh, mountains and stuff, but I don't know. I'd rather they have it than some random rich person comes down, cuts it all down, and builds an ugly house on it. So <laughs> you are correct, but then you would never be able to. It's kind of like. I don't know. It's a weird realm. It's kind of yeah. like weird communism. <laughs> <laughs> like, you cannot own this. This is uh, for only certain people to own. Skullfell says, just how many Alexes does Moon Colony keep in their basement? Well, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. I, wait, I missed. Well, we have like, we have so many Alexes that work at Moon Colony. Oh yeah, true, true. Like yeah, we we actually do have. I, I was thinking like someday I can make a studio and it will be only Alexes accepted. <laughs> <laughs> like ever can make a division. We have art directors. We have like. Yeah. <laughs> you need you, you need a, a lot of we, Alex. We need an Alex director. And it's just one Alex. Just changing my name <laughs> to be <laughs> a bit more unique in the studio. It's just you just need you need an Alex director who is just an Alex that is in charge of all of the other Alexes. We have that, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we can, we can make it like a thing. Yeah. Uh, the best bit the best bit is that we also had uh, a new Alex on the stream like a couple of weeks ago that doesn't even do work at Moon Colony. They're just like a guest artist called Alex. Great. Nice. Requirements for Moon Colony job. Number one, you should be named Alex. Number two, <laughs> you, should have, you should have a beard or facial there, hair. <laughs> there was a joke about uh, about the UFC. Like that. If your name name ends on like uh, Gumedov. Mm. Or like uh, Norman Gumedo for anything like that because like all those uh, guys are currently like ruling over MMA. Yeah. All those uh, what were they? Somewhere in Russia, but I, I, I can't remember the place. But <laughs> there's like ten of them from like Kyrgyzstan or something. I don't know. Yeah. And, and then, it, then the meme was if your name is like that, then you will be a successful fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Moon Colony if your name is Alex, then you are accepted. If your name is Alex and or you have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the beards are very popular nowadays, aren't they? Yeah. How did that happen, by the way? I don't know. Like, when I, I was know. little, there was no bearded people <laughs> when I was little. Like, maybe a mustache, mustaches and like, all, all, all of that. I remember, I remember when I was a kid, I, I, I always really wanted to have a, a beard. I was like, man, when I grow up, I'm going to have like a really cool beard. It's going to be really big. It's going to be like Hagrid from Harry Potter. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, 
Okay, I still want a beard, but I don't want it to be like Hagrid's. <laughs> I want to have some kind of... Uh, some kind of control. I mean, back in the days it was like... Uh, if you want a job, you, you probably need to shave and like, yeah. look... Like a presentable person, now you're like... I look like a... Um, shipwrecked. Guy. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I've just come out of a shipwreck. Yeah. I mean, it used to, you had to like hide your tattoos and everything as well. Oh, true. That, that as well. It's like the same realm of thing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's better like this for sure. Yeah. Whatever they want. <laughs> Dash has said, okay, I've solved the flatness problem, but now my super mutant is hot. <laughs> it's what? It's hot. <laughs> they just make some. Uh... Wait, I should do that as well. Like some warts and stuff. Yeah, you gotta make him look like he's in a irradiated wasteland. Now, this is important. In order to not ruin what you just did, uh, try to make them on the transitions, not in the middle of the plane, mm. like how I did here wrongly with the wrinkles. I I know a lot of things. I just don't do them. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, <laughs> Alex's streams are the are the like videoed versions of do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Like it, it's amazing how many, how much work I make for myself always because I'm too lazy to do it properly, and then I actually do a lot more. <laughs> like <laughs> with with simple preparations, you can be a lot faster. I'm just too lazy to make the simple preparations, and then I have to do like, so much more. <laughs> <laughs> just the weirdest thing. Like, it makes zero sense. I don't know. I am I am a very 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 weird artist. Honestly, I, I think I'm just dumb. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Oh man, I I do that sometimes though. Where I'll I'll do something and then whatever I've done is so stupid that I'm like, am I an idiot? Am I just an idiot? Like, was this a, an honest mistake or am I just stupid? <laughs> I, I think I just accepted that I'm just stupid at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, my... Uh, honestly, I don't think I'm stupid. I just don't think there is just zero memory in my brain. Like, if it was a art disk, there's just like 10 megabytes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got to read something to learn like the most basic thing. Yeah. And, and you end up watching like uh, tutorials and like uh, how to do things and then you just you like nod you look at them and you're like I, I get it I get it and then five minutes later you have no idea what you just watched and uh, I cannot like retell it to somebody I watch something <laughs> yeah. I, I, I always like, yeah just... I'm the same very scuffed version you're like there was a guy i don't remember the name of the guy but he did that and that thing and i don't remember like the country but it was, it was just he did a lot of <laughs> he things did so it much was cool. stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> like what what did i just say like if this yeah. zero amount actual story in there i was i was trying to describe to people on discord the other day i had uh i just watched this like four hour YouTube um, like expose piece that this guy had done um, about this person who'd been plagiarizing loads of work. And I was telling people in Discord, I was like, oh, it's really cool. You like, need to watch it. Like, it just gets crazier the, the further through you get. And you're trying to describe it. And it's that same thing where it's just like, it's, it's like a guy, he, he did some stuff and it was really bad. He did some really bad stuff. Uh, you know, and it was it was crazy, and that's like the extent of my description of this like four hour thing I'd spent my whole evening watching the night before. It's like just totally gone out of my mind. 
insane. I think like humanity is just getting dumber and dumber. <laughs> I think. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's, that's just a fact. Like when I'm speaking to the mother of my wife, she's like. She's able to recall the name of an actor of a movie that she watched like 30 years ago. Yeah. With those three actors, I'm like, how is this possible? <laughs> she just, <laughs> yeah. uh, who was he? That? It was this, this, and that. I'm like, I, I have zero memory of anything. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you know, like my grandma, my grandma will remember people who I went to, uh, who I went to primary school with, or I went to like preschool with. And it's like, how do you? How do you know these people? I have no idea who they are. Like, I don't know who you're talking about right now. You could be making people up for all I know. Insane. How stupid yeah. we are becoming. I mean, we are relying too much on information being available to us. And your mm. brain is like, just Google it, right? But yeah. Well, this is, this is the thing as well, right? Like, with that documentary I was watching, you know, like nobody, this guy had been plagiarizing people's work, like literally copy pasting people's work into his own like video essays. And nobody noticed because nobody cared to just check any of it. You know, like it is it, oh, so man, easy to find out, but just no one even watched the weirdest uh, uh, documentary on, on Netflix. It was about the guy that was doing like actual transplants of people and he was a actual surgeon in one of the best like hospitals in the world like mm. somewhere in sweden or something like that or something like that you see how well i'm describing it <laughs> and uh he said that he he's actually doing transplants on people and that are like life threatening <laughs> <laughs> like he never tested it on anything but he just said that he did and nobody checked that because like you he's on tv he's saying that yeah. he, he's doing all, all those things and uh and no he's one. also working on, on, on a ve in a very respectable place like nobody checked if he actually did research on this and yeah. like he killed like 10 people with those Oh my God. Like actual transplants, and he's actually killing people. And he said that, yeah, this works. Uh, this is perfect. And people are like, okay, if you say so. <laughs> They're going there, and making op he's making operations on them, and then he's saying, like, uh, yes, that was successful. But if you check, actually check on the person and how he's doing, like the, the guy just died like what? a week ago, and like. It's, it's insane. Like you, you should watch it and like it's so ridiculous that that's actually happening. In very yeah. respectable place, and, and you can be easily one of those people because like you're going there and they're like, yeah, this is the best guy for the job. He's the only one doing yeah, this exactly. experimental yeah. stuff. Uh, like, but then like. He's not, he just said he is, and like nobody questioned that. <laughs> yeah, he's for, just like, a years. dude. Yeah. And then, uh, like, some people, uh, some of his colleagues, like, even his colleagues believed it, like, surgeons, like, the amazing surgeons, right? That's that crazy. Are, uh, working in that place. Surely, the and oh, they're like man. believing that he's like uh, this uh, great guru, that he's a making waves of unheard of things like doing actual transplants of people like drawing tissues uh, and like implanting like wind pipes of people and they're like yes this is like amazing and then he, it's not working <laughs> like, it has <laughs> never worked there <laughs> just no dying one, and like just no one checks just like no yeah. one checks in on any of the other people that have been there. that's and and those colleagues actually realize it at some point and they like file a complaint yeah yeah and that they, they like uh say that this person is a hack like they have evidence uh, those people are actually dead and all of that and then the weird thing is the actually uh the owners of the hospital go on a public interview and say that that's not true yeah, because, because, it looks, like, because it looks bad. Now their them. name is bad. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. And then it gets worse because like they are defending it, and then you're like, okay, that's then that's a lie. I'll go into 
a transplant on myself. That is uh. just ridiculous. We live in so such ridiculous times. Honestly, it's yeah. I think it's I I think the best kind of the best kind of documentaries you can watch are the ones where you're watching them and as it's going along you're thinking oh well it can't get any worse and then it gets worse and worse yeah. and it's just like how is how does this keep happening like how is this have you watched the oxycotton one yes yeah yeah it's the the same as, as that. crazy yeah <laughs> like, they just say it, it's not addictive uh it's perfectly safe and people are like okay yeah <laughs> And this is super addictive, and it's actual like what was it like heroin, cocaine, or something? Yeah, like yeah, that. it's yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. Like insanely addictive, but they're just like, uh, no, what? Yeah. So, there was yeah, go ahead and. There was another great one that I watched on Netflix that was about this. Uh, it's about this this town in Australia, and it was like in the middle of nowhere. Like it took hours to get to the next town over. Um, and this guy went missing one night, just you know randomly. And like the first half of this documentary is it making out like everybody loved this guy. They're all telling great stories that they had with him, blah, 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 blah. It turns out that everyone in this town hates each other. Like there's like 12 people that live in this town and none of them get along at all. Like everyone here hates each other. So it just, it just turns into them all pointing the finger at each other for who like kidnapped and killed this dude. And it's just like, what, what is going on here? Like, why are any of you still living here? And they're like, well, it's the best place in Australia. It's like, how can you say that when you hate it here? It's absolutely nuts. I don't know. I, I'm about to like not trust anything anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you're, you're, you're thinking we live in an age that those things are easily found out, right? It's mm. not like there's no internet. Like, if that was wrong, like people would be out there and saying like this is bullshit. Like it's actual garbage. Like that's unhealthy. And uh, yeah. never use that uh, pill or whatever. It's actual poison. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter because like there is the also delusional people that are like, yeah, this was perfect. This is amazing. Like it mm. just blends with the with the actual bullshit, and you actually have no idea. Like uh, <laughs> the other day, I was looking for for new head headset. Mm. And man, I'm sick and tired of uh, actual uh, reviews of uh, things in the internet. Why? Can you explain to me? Because I was like really <laughs> frustrated yesterday. Why <laughs> is there no review that says like this product is 10 out of 10? This is like the best headphones <laughs> that are out there. It's just 10. I mean, it should be a 10, right? There should be a product yeah. that is just the best of all of those things. None of them are. Right? Yeah, the... or, or, at least, or at least some of the things. And it's like the best sound or the best microphone mm. or the best anything. They're always like, this is like 7, seven, seven out yeah, of what, all... man? What, what are yeah, you comparing all... it to? Yeah, I had, this, <laughs> I had this exact same thing a few weeks ago. I was looking for a new headset as well. I feel your pain. I was looking through them and I was like, I, I don't know. I don't like what. What am I supposed to? What am I supposed to be getting here? Like, there's nothing. Yeah, but Every, that's like all... the microphone. The mo the microphone is like six point five. Like, <laughs> out of what? Uh, they, they're comparing it to actual like, like boom <laughs> microphone. Yeah, boom yeah. Professional <laughs> microphone and like, can you just like say this is on headphones? It's ten. We don't have like <laughs> the next one that's better. That can be ten as well, and this can just go down. But like, they're like this yeah. is six point two. Yeah, right. it's, I it's feel like, so frustrating. Like, yeah. That was the same when I bought a monitor. Uh, they were like uh, the the HDR of this monitor is like two. I'm like, <laughs> why are you comparing <laughs> it mean? to actual TV screens? Because like, <laughs> it turns out like uh, HDR on like most uh, desktop monitors mm -hmm. suck they're just bad but they're bad compared to like 
TV monitors. Yeah. Uh, not compared to other like desktop screens. They're like, yeah, this is this is terrible. It's not like OLED TV. I'm like, I am not buying an OLED TV. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I want buying a monitor. What is the best screen uh, yeah. for my desktop? You're like, nah, this is like too. This like, yeah, bit garbage. <laughs> like, thank, thanks. I, I don't want to buy that. It's just, yeah. If it's garbage, I don't want to buy it. Why? Why would I buy it? Mm. Uh, hey, Concept JP, thank you for the tier one subscription. It's much appreciated. I hope you uh, hope you enjoy the the emotes that we've got in there for you. How are you doing today? We were like in the middle of a rant about, about tech reviews. Like, I mean, if you ever like see that I am going to stream, you 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 would know that there will be a rant about something. About something. <laughs> I'm not a not ranting person for sure. I just love to complain about things yeah I, w I would love to be a, a person that doesn't complain right i would love to yeah. do that but i'm not yeah. <laughs> i love those people that like this is life man you you just get uh, you what you get i'm like no <laughs> okay. it's like, dude, like my, yeah, but... my 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 granddad is is that type of person you know he he yeah manly type of person that he's just like who, just like he just doesn't care like he just He's just like, yeah, man. This is how it, this is how it is. Like, he had a an operation on his. He had like a knee replacement, right? Which is apparently one of the like worst yeah, surgeries to recover from. And he just he didn't complain once. It'd be like, you know, how's your knee? Are you are you in pain? And he's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's like clearly it's not. It's clearly you're in a lot of pain. But he just didn't. Like, no complaints whatsoever. Or, or either you ask him and he's like, yeah, I'm in pain. It's, and you're like, why you, why did you never complain about that? Yeah. Like, oh, I expect I had a knee surgery. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know, I have a friend like that. When I complain about something, he's like, why? Uh, I'm like, I bought a, like, a terrible something. I'm like, this is complete mm. garbage. Why, why is this sold? This shouldn't be sold. This is like, uh, and he's like, why are you ranting? Just don't buy it next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like a what? mix between the two. I think I I I love to complain, but then I I you know, uh, I love to complain. But then when people give me actual solutions to the problems, I'm like, hey, come on, what what the hell? <laughs> Just let me rant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, have, you have some that you need to rant about for like half an hour and then you can move on with life yeah yeah then i wish luckily luckily oh, nothing nothing has me like nothing is wild me up enough for a random reason um, i would love to be one of those guys though just the strong type that like he's in pain and he's just saying nothing <laughs> yeah like yeah just like, just going to like be a little bitch about it and just say, <laughs> oh, my this I is will disgusting. cry. This is horrible. I feel terrible. Concept <laughs> <laughs> uh, JP says uh, they're good. They followed uh, they followed our guys' studio for a couple of years now. I have to say, what a top team you all have. Uh, the work is top quality. Oh, thank you. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Skullpel says sometimes By I the way, complain for the sake of complaining, and the stuff I'm complaining about isn't even that bad. Exactly. I always just assumed that that was like a British thing. You know, you just complain for the sake of it. It can be like the most non-problem ever. It's like not even an issue, and you're just like, "Well, this has destroyed my entire week." <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think we we share it. I actually yeah. have found that like uh, like our humor kind of like overlaps with some of the humor in in, in, in the UK. You guys are a, a lot more polite, by the way. Uh, yeah. You have like a lot of more constraints of what you say and what you don't say. You're like, whoa, that's not okay to say. And like you have like you try to be polite always, at least from what I have. Uh, experienced yeah <laughs> otherwise like the 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 dark humor and the like the 
some of that it's just you, you get it it's mm. just like ours but yeah but i i often <laughs> feel like i'm just insulting people i'm like nah it, it just was a joke <laughs> it's just a joke you know? <laughs> yeah no i i feel it yeah it's it's interesting like uh no, I think I think the UK can be, uh, I think British people can be just as just as brutal as other people, but it's more. I don't know it's le- it's. I don't know, what am I trying to say? It's like less public, I guess. It's just sort of. You know, we we have a reputation, I suppose, of being like fancy English people. So it's like, well, let's try and keep it up. I don't know, I've heard complaints of people that went to the UK and then, at least from my country, went mm. to the UK and like met a lot of people, they were like super friendly friendly to them and then they realized that they're not actually their friends at all. <laughs> they're just <laughs> yeah. being friends, which is super confusing to a person from my country because like you are what you are, usually. If yeah. that person is an asshole to you, he, he just doesn't like you and then you know and you're like, move on. <laughs> don't like each other if he's friendly then he genuinely likes you and yeah. he will never be like i just backstabbed you in the <laughs> and <laughs> moved on like in uk they're like you have like a general like friendliness and yeah yeah and foolish people from my country are like oh that guy was a friend of mine and he's like no i don't <laughs> like you <at> all. <laughs> <laughs> don't like you at all I think he's like, yeah, let's never meet. I think it's the fact that we just don't. We well, a lot of us don't really like conflict, and it just makes our life easier to to pretend to be nice to someone and never see them again. I mean, in a way, it's nicer. I mean, it's like different times. I feel different about this. Yeah, like some sometimes in in my country, like people. (laughs) Straight up assholes. <laughs> you're just like, you know, can you just be like, uh, I mean, not for like people that you're meeting and want to be friends with, but it's just like a guy in the store, for example. Mm. He'll be just like complete ass yeah, for c- no reason at all. Yeah. You're like, can you, I, I will never meet you. Why are you ruining my day? <laughs> yeah, you I mean, it does. Want a, a basic level of politeness. Yeah. Like, it does happen over here, but very, like, I'd say it's quite it's quite rare like a lot of the time if that stuff happens you just people just kind of go what like why it's like no one no it just confuses people if you're that much of a of a dick in person it's just like why are you like why are you doing that um this is isn't this isn't that bad actually i kind of like it it's looking cool yeah it looks nice well, that wasn't very convincing. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just had like, sorry, I just had like four different things happening at once in my ear. I had like, I heard, sorry, yeah, that'll be why the buzz is going on my apartment building. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. Can you use it for people you care? Yes, I, I, that's exactly. I mean, we are pretty similar in some aspects, definitely. What should I do? More, more texture. Like those, uh, those metal parts are feeling kind of gooey can I use like a palette knife or something to add some texture Let's oh yeah sorry about that what was it it was uh, a package for my for my neighbor why are they calling you because my neighbor's not in so I I heard like buzzing for like the like the last three or four minutes, and it was really distracting. And I was like, "Why is like why is no one letting like no no one's answering it?" And then they buzzed my flat, and I was like, "Oh, okay." 
<laughs> they've come to collect someone's apartment after 99 years. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there's there's one more. Look at I I cannot make this brush smaller than this size. I want to like uh, just a little scratch, little texture here, but uh, yeah, texture's pretty. Hmm, that you just need the work. the one the yeah. one singular bristle brush. Uh, did you see the? Question: Someone else is asking what the painting software is. Looks fun. Did you did you see that? No, I'm ignoring such questions. <laughs> Alex does. <laughs> Alex doesn't want to share what software he's using because he doesn't like that they haven't put an update out. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do my own detective, like thing to try and figure out what it is. Oil painting. Uh, Extraordinaire. Software. Uh, oh, okay, it's not that. I mean, it has a rake brush, but it kind of feels like fake. Um, I've never seen an actual painting that has used such type of palette knife. Maybe I've, I seen, I've seen Bob Ross use a palette knife. Palette knife. This scratchy one, like this? Mm, no, not like that. He would, he would use it to do like the mountains and stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, they use it because it just makes a super sharp edge. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should try to add some mountains and stuff. I think I found it. Is it literally called Realistic Paint Studio? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally called that. There we go. It is Realistic Paint Studio. Thank you, Alex, for sharing that information with us. That was so oh, helpful. Okay. Always. <laughs> help. <laughs> why, why did you ruin the mystery? Now people will be like, ah. Now, before that, they're like, oh, I'm this is kind of cool painting. I'm, I'm, I want trying to make to, painting. I'm trying to help you, Alex, because the more support that they get, then the more likely they are to update their software. I don't think so. But I'm, I'm inadvertently helping you. You'll thank me eventually when they put out an update. I don't remember when was the last time that I used the word thank you in my language. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I just don't remember. What is thank you in your language? Uh, you want to hear it, how it's pronounced? Yeah. It's uh, what would you? Oh, I'm not even gonna try and say that. But... Yeah, it's too long to say it, so people don't say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say for thank you, that's quite long. Yeah. Also, uh, I'm sorry, I, I haven't said that in a, in a while. I, a good thing about like speaking uh, a different language like mm. English, is uh, you use it to say words that are uncomfortable to say. It's yeah. much easier. And it, of course, it doesn't mean as much to you. <laughs> yeah. If you said somebody like in Japanese, arigato or something like that, it's just like stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel like you're thanking him at all. You're like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard a lot of... Um... I, I've known a lot of people who have said similar things where they say, you know, thanks instead of thank you in their language because it's just it's quicker for them to do it and it's kind of a well known. It's like some of the, the most well known bits of English is just thank you and sorry. Oh, it's super weird when you say to an old person in the store, you, you feel like a complete jackass. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just look at I you like, how dare you? 
Yeah, they're like... What? It mean? <laughs> yeah, I loved... Um... No, I hate it, but I actually hate it when I see like native people speak in English and it's not like uh, I mind English in any way, they just do it like pretentiously. Oh yeah, yeah, they do it because they can. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Yeah. I've actually seen like people like go and order in English and you obviously see he's a Bulgarian I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, what, what are you doing? You're not cool. <laughs> well, see you later, Dash. Thanks for coming along. It's nice to it's nice to see you. Uh, they said thank you for the advice, Alex. I really appreciate it. What did I advise them? That was, uh, was the that, uh, when, when you said the and they said the, the thing looks flat. Yeah, 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 no problem. Um, this says, hey, there's it's a amazing free... how... Yep, sure. I was just saying, Melissa pointed out there's a free trial of that painting software that you're using, so... There you go. Yeah, try it, it's fun. Like, I always struggle with Photoshop. Ooh. Like... People always say like it's easier to draw digitally than mm. drawing uh, traditionally, and that is true to a lot of degrees. Like mm -hmm. uh, it's more accessible, like all, all the colors you don't have mixing, you don't have all that. There is like some very basic things that uh, actual uh, digital software can do right, yeah. and like mixing two colors. It's just ridiculous that. It's still so hard for most softwares. This is the only one that I know that actually does it properly and uh, it looks naturally. Yeah. It is like it is there is done. like coral painter is for like so many years out there. <laughs> like, I don't know, there is like coral painter fifteen probably. And it still does it terrible. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. You'd think, I don't know, you'd, you'd think that companies would would snatch this up and just develop on it and build upon it for their own for their own sake. And you would be wrong. Yeah, you would be wrong. Yeah, I guess that other things to think about. I guess probably not much of a. There's probably not much of an outcry. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> There's probably not much of an outcry for like, uh, for, like amazing paint mixing, <laughs> which is I don't know, it's weird. Hmm. Uh, Skywalker's yeah, Infinite it. Painter is yeah. really good. I don't know what Infinite was. Infinite. Check it. If I have tried it. Oh, it's like a app, an app. Right? And there is a lot of yeah. good ones, but I, I don't think there is a lot of good ones that actually simulate this. Like Procreate is an amazing software, but it doesn't do that mm. at all. I, I don't know. I think there is a market for this. Uh, just currently there, is, there isn't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, have, I have found out that people don't really want the things they claim they want usually like they're yeah. like i want a realistic painting software and then they run it and it's harder than actual mm -hmm. <laughs> the like, like it's harder harder than photoshop and their work looks worse than it was before and they're like yep i don't want that at all yeah i just want a software that makes my work look better <laughs> I mean, that was, that was one of the first things I learned at university was uh, people don't know what they want. Even if they tell you that they know what they want, they don't know what they want. Yeah, I have no idea what they want, yeah. usually. Uh, there was like, uh, there is a uh, World of Warcraft streamer, it's called Asmongold, I don't know if you have seen him. I've heard, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, he, he, he said that about World of Warcraft, that people always... Uh, complain that they want a harder World of Warcraft with uh, old school dungeons and old school raids and all all of that. Yeah. He's, he was like, no, they don't. <laughs> like they 
they don't want a harder game. When as he said that like as soon as they made World of Warcraft harder, like they lost so many people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. People sometimes claim I want the the real deal, but they they don't. I just think they do. Mm. What is this guy missing? Like I don't like that the the armor is looking kind of gooey. Maybe it needs more color. Maybe like gooey. Grayish. Yeah, it looks like uh, gooey. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, it just needs more flashes of. Oh, that has some texture. Maybe that nice. work. Um, yeah, I didn't. I never really paid all that much attention to Asmund Golds, to be honest, because uh, I knew he was a WoW. He was a WoW YouTuber. I played Final Fantasy. I did WoW, so. Uh, yeah, I, I keep forgetting that you you are a very young person. <laughs> just a just a baby. Yeah. Man, how old are you again? Uh, twenty-four. Yeah. Twenty-five. How long was when did they make World of Warcraft? Two thousand and oh, I want to say World of Warcraft came out in like 2003 or something, but I... Oh, it's 2004. That's close enough. Guy yeah, has a shiny forehead. Hey, what do I make? Do this a bit more artsy. I will just throw a shadow. I love cast shadows. Um, thick as oatmeal. Uh, what this software looks fun to work with. What's it called? It is called Realistic Paint. Apparently, it has a free trial. So now spilling the beans to everyone. Jayden. Yeah, I am. I am spilling the beans. No, people think they want to know, but they don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> well, I'll take it one step further. I'm gonna put a link in the chat. Oh my. Okay. And uh, send your like credit card number to the guy that developed the program. Hey, if they want to, if they if they want to sponsor, if they want to sponsor some streams. That's fine by me. Uh, yeah, I know you're welcome. People are like, what are you doing? Why are you ruining the guy's head? <laughs> it looks like you're giving him a hairline. I'm giving him a shadow. Because I like shadows. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. Looks like he has a comb over. Oh, I'm trying to look like a shadow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's not really uh, happening, but I, I, I am trying. Uh, Christina says, from my experience, they're much more angry looking <laughs> than you put like an angry orc emoji. It's not an orc. Oh yeah, you're right. They are more angry looking. Not not my guy. He's just like a deep thinker. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the one he's the one super mutant that has like an IQ above twelve. <laughs> like, he's like, why is why are we still fighting? Man? <laughs> why are we here? Just to yeah. suffer. Exactly. He's your best pal who helps. Yeah, yeah, he's your best pal. Who contemplates life and existence. I think he's a mutant and I haven't done anything mutantish about him. Maybe I should have made it like a tumor or something. <laughs> I thought you were gonna give him an afro for a second. <laughs> I was like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> Maybe I should. But kinda like 
They have like I was going they, to say a cooler tumor. I don't think that's a I don't think that's, word yeah. ever used in humanity history. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Yeah, some like some tumory bits, maybe some like lumps and skin falling off or something. And I remember going back to like thinking about when when WoW came out, 2004. So I was five years old, and I remember not. I remember not long after it came out, I would like I'd play it with my cousin. Like we would just make endless free trial accounts, just constantly on like different email addresses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was expensive, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah that as well and then play on like pirated <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah i was like i was like six so i didn't i was like five and or six or whatever so yeah i, I was like i was like 16 then so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah man it was so cool so cool i remember making a uh night elf like running as a like a panther uh druid oh, yeah. elf druid and the music still in that like the uh, elvish forest is just amazing in world yeah. of warcraft yeah it's real nice it's definitely one of the coolest experiences mm. and this software I, I i was ready to like uh, i didn't know what was how it was going to turn out. I never used it like for so long. I can actually like how it turned out. Kind of cool. Oh, what's what's that? You, oh, you you like it now, huh? You like it now, huh? Oh, interesting. No, not the software. I mean, uh -huh. I mean, I, I like the software, but <laughs> obviously, I like it. <laughs> I yeah. use it, but but yeah, I, uh, it's I nice. Deserve. recognition uh, maybe the shapes are just too basic this uh, thing maybe I should just add little bits and bobs three please three please mm, that's what that's what um, that's what you call them in like miniature when you're doing miniature painting or if you're making like dioramas or something in miniatures all the little random bits that just stick on to like make some extra shapes or whatever. They're just called greeblies. You just made that up. I I promise you, it's a it's a real thing that people say. <laughs> I am just double checking myself though. <laughs> greeply. Yeah, I'm just adding a bit of greeplies, I guess. I, here we go. So wow, there's 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 another word for them that sounds equally as non existent. So it's either a greeble or a or a nerny. <laughs> it's part is a part harvested from a plastic modeling kit to be applied to an original model as a detail element. So yeah, you you it's like, like it's like they want to be bullied in school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, how do we sound like? <laughs> we sound like a, a bunch of nerds. nerds. <laughs> yeah. I think it's it is probably it's it sounds like a Star Wars thing. I feel like it it it's yeah, it gotta be a Star Wars. Thing. Oh yeah, it oh there we go. It is a Star Wars thing. I just found really? it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the term was originally taken from when they were making the Star Wars movies in like the nineteen seventies, and they were making all of the spaceships. They would take they would take pieces from um, from like pre-made modeling kits. And George Lucas and Adam Savage, we love Adam Savage. If you don't know who he is, look him up, he's amazing. But George Lucas and Adam Savage started calling them Greebles. So there you go. So yeah, technically the other, it's a Star Wars thing. The other sheep will just 
continue to using him. It's my new favorite word, sheeple. Sheeple. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know okay. where I heard it from. <laughs> Wake up, sheeple. Uh, oh, what's this? Melissa said, "This is this is the exact conversation with me and my husband. Every time I complain to new about new hardware or updates on software, he has to listen. I have a change of heart. It, I have a change of heart, and he puts that on my notes. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, my my wife is always like, she's so polite, always listening to." <laughs> bullshit I complain about <laughs> or like or like I just uh, oh she she always politely listens to all my nerdy uh, <laughs> well how do you call like, it? Uh, I feel like if your wife it doesn't if your wife doesn't listen to all of the nerdy stuff you talk about then then who will <laughs> who's going to <laughs> yeah probably right I mean you have friends for that, right? To, but to yeah, that's true. How yeah. cool the new uh, GTA trailer looks, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then you like, I go to, in great detail to explain why is it cool. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> oh, now the beaches are more populated. That's that sounds that's really amazing. cool. Nice, yeah. <laughs> they they were not populated before. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, so cool. We didn't have that technology. Like, when you're old as me, which is a lot, uh, you, you you get really impressed by advances in like gaming technology because you have mm. seen all of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, when you see like uh, actual hair moving or something like that, or like plot simulations, I'm like mind blown. Like, this is so cool. And she's like, mm -hmm. Shouldn't like cloth move? Like cloth, uh, what? what is, <laughs> cloth what? just moves anyway. It's like no, but you don't get it. Twenty yeah, years ago, never, this wouldn't have moved. <laughs> yeah, we, we never had cloth. Like currently, I'm like so excited when I see like uh, Unreal Engine like water simulations. Yeah, like, yeah. Splashing water and liquid. Like this is insane. And she's like, still looks kind of shit. I'm like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have some respect. Come on, it looks cool. <laughs> never had that before. What do you mean? <laughs> it's just like looking at it from normal people perspective. It's like, it doesn't look exactly like water. I'm like, yeah, but it's just so much better than before. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's, it's cool when like you look back at like the last sort of 20 even yeah, even if you look back at like the last twenty years of of gaming and like the technology that that has been uh, coming out is really impressive. I think console that was around when I was a kid was a PlayStation One. Yeah, like a PlayStation One, then a PlayStation Two, and the GameCube. And like to me, those were amazing. And then it like the jump from a PS2 to like an Xbox 360 was huge. Yep. I don't know. I remember still Half Life uh, 2 when mm. it came out. People had actual hair, like at least short hair, but it was yeah. like fuzzy. I was like so mind blown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what witchcraft is this? <laughs> Yeah. It's not a, like simple polygon slapped on top of him. Yeah. Man, I like, you just you just don't get those uh you just don't get those like massive jumps anymore, I don't think. It's so much like we've got all of the the big jumps in in uh in visuals, maybe not physics maybe, but Visuals especially, it's like the big jumps are out of the way. We can do pretty realistic stuff now. But... Yeah. Although, did you watch the? Go watch the. Um, the. What was it again? Star Star Citizen. Did you watch the Star Citizen presentation? Um. Go no, I have. No, I haven't. The, the go watch this Squadron Forty Two 
mm. presentation. That's that's kind of mind blowing. Yeah, like the scope and size of this uh, universe and the planets, and they like zoom in, and it's just like actual good looking planets. It, it just I'll I'll send you a link. After yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Have a bit more of that like old school. Wow, this is uh, the future, I guess. Nice. Mm. I start it as in as just. I mean, that's been going for forever. It's been going for so long. But also, like, uh, GTA, right? Like, mm -hmm. I was thinking, like, what are they going to make in the new GTA to be next-gen? Yeah. Right? Because, like, the, the last one still looks kind of good. The last it one look bad still looks though. great, yeah. Yeah. But then you... Um, and it's not like they made it photo real. It's not like mm. they made the humans like so photo real, but it, they like increase the density and the realism of yeah, how yeah. many things are going on screen. And you're like, well, that clearly is so much better. Yeah. But before I mean, that, I was like, I, I don't know what they would do to make it. I think. But they did. I'm glad they did. Yeah, they've made. They have made it look a lot better, and I think. It's nice as well because it doesn't look all that different from GTA 5 either. And GTA 5, I think, was just that perfect visual style, you know, where, as you said, it wasn't it wasn't super realistic, but it, it still looked nice. Like, it still looked... They, they just improved it in the places that they didn't expect. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. It'll so yeah, we have like a lot of places to improve games. Which is... Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think it's getting to the point now though where the hard like it, it's not we we can do we can do the stuff, but it's like the hardware that's holding us back more than anything. Oh, but but it was always like that, right? Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Yes. Oh man, it's been two hours already. Wow. Yeah, we have to like kind of wrap it up. I'm just having fun with this software. <laughs> that's what I. That's a thing that I never have in Photoshop. But <laughs> <laughs> it's just that it's not a little bit never, fun. but it's just it's just mm. so. Uh, uh, I don't know. How to pronounce it? Stereo? Ster uh, yeah, sterile. Yeah, I guess I see what you mean. It's this. This has like a this has like a nice vibe to it because it's like a studio setting. You know, you've got your easel and, and uh, canvas yeah. and everything. Yeah, but it's also full of like unexpected things that happen. Mm. Like you put a bit of that paint over that paint, and you're like, oh, that, that blended nice. I like it. You kind of like push things around. Yeah. Here. Like having fun. Like nothing unexpected ever happens in Photoshop. It's just exactly calculated. Like if there is a person that makes a very natural looking uh, painting looking uh, drawing, hmm. he he made it because he knows exactly what he wants to achieve and like uh, how to what colors to put beside other colors and like uh, all of that like in, in in natural painting you you just end up with things sometimes like mm. how i mean like bob ross even say like happy little happy incidents accidents accident, yeah. and they're like so important to actually creating cool art because like that's part of your your style, right? Like, yeah. You notice something that other person will not notice, and you're like, okay, that's cool. I want to keep it. Mm. But that happens so like rarely in Photoshop. Yeah, which I mean, that's why it's why it's good for professional work, I suppose, because it you don't you don't end up with any of those accidental. Mistakes, you know, you know exactly what you're going to get most of the time. I mean, sometimes you're kind of like forced by the industry. I, I would love to use this professionally, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just, first off, 
the developer is uh, not <laughs> making this easy at all. So the software is just unresponsive. You cannot like save in like uh, formats you want. You cannot like edit this. You. Mm. Yeah, I can use this like in congestion with Photoshop probably, but again, like there are like so many inconveniences and the biggest one is like you cannot just use a paint bucket and <laughs> just, just slap it over. Yeah. yeah. What does this need? It needs like, I feel like it needs like a dark rock behind him. Just the feeling I have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm one of the artists that really uh, really follows his gut more than uh, his knowledge of things sometimes. Mm. Like, this feels like it needs a bit more green. This feels like... Uh, like, I'm not, like, drawing circles and, like, thinking, okay, this is, like, uh, three quarters from the left to the right screen, so that makes my uh, composition uh, better. I'm, a lot of the times I'm like, this needs a mountain behind. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just needs. I feel like there, there probably comes a point when a lot of that is almost subconscious anyway, or kind of, yeah, you kind of just do it without even the, whatever. Yeah, it is. Honestly, like that. And yet, I don't know how to fit it. And and then you you probably start to use your knowledge here, and you're like, okay, I want to use it like. Uh... Then you make the canvas bigger, and then. <laughs> I kind of like want to put it there, but then I. I blend it. In. Usually it's not a good idea to, at least according to some artists, to connect things to the head of your model. But it's hard mm. you do what you want sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's not if it's not anything professional, then why not? yet i'm not sure if i like it <laughs> <laughs> no no it's fine when i remove the little light thing and it's all done in one layer the whole thing which is again helping to make some uh accidents happen yeah nice though But it's very fun, this uh, this program. You you end up with just playing around. A lot of uh, work is now mm -hmm. just work. It's very, at least in Photoshop, it feels, as I said, very sterile. Sterile? Sterile? Stero? How do you say it again? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mock me. No, no, so now you've got the reason I'm laughing is because you were you were struggling with it and it made me now forget how it's how it's pronounced. Now I'm thinking, is it sterile or sterile? I think it. I think it doesn't really matter. I think they both work. I think different regions in in the UK <laughs> say it different ways. Different What's regions say it different ways. So it's just one it's of those things. It's not real science. You can speak whatever you want. Yeah, just do what you want. No one's gonna. No one's gonna care. It's fine. <laughs> so wrong. That's not at all a thing. There, there is definitely a proper way, way to say it. It's probably it would probably be sterile if you were to like really care sterile. But I've heard people say sterile because it's quicker. Somebody in chat that it's a native uh, English speaker and like <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot my native language is like French, I guess. 
I have an excuse. <laughs> I don't think you do. My excuse, my excuse is that I'm stupid. <laughs> that's that's always a great excuse. I, I usually do that. Yeah. When I don't know something, I'm just I'm just dumb. Why are you blaming me? I'm yeah. Why are you blaming me? <laughs> like, you can't, my wife you can't blame me because I'm stupid. It's not fair. Yeah, my wife sometimes like uh, blames me for forgetting something. I'm like. What do you want me to do? <laughs> be, be a different person and remember? I, I don't know how to help you. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I get that from Melissa a lot. Melissa moan at me for forgetting things, and then I'm like, well, you should know, you know, you should know me well enough by now to expect me to forget things. <laughs> I think it's just. Uh, I mean, unrealistic to expect of people that don't have this ability. Yeah. To remember things. <laughs> to for people to expect them to actually to remember. That was the yeah. longest sentence that I've said in my life. <laughs> yeah, we got there in the end. <laughs> Let me just check my phone if I need it. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to wrap it up in a few minutes anyway. I have to. I have to be off somewhere. Yeah. yeah we we will we, just. So. I think it's nice. It's been it's been refreshing to see something that is different from Photoshop. You know, like. Right. Yeah, it was nice, especially at the start seeing. At the start, seeing how the paint was affected by strokes and the colors mixing together was really interesting. It is. It is cool. It, it would have been cooler if you said like the raw umber was affected by the. <laughs> yeah, when the, yeah, when the yeah <laughs> when the when the oh, when I've lost uh, when the color. Well, it's a, uh, she just knows how to use those. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get posh word. Um, actually, uh, that wasn't royal umber. That was Celestin pink. <laughs> this, it's not like miniature work. You you can't even just invent words, <laughs> or or you're not Shakespeare. I think Shakespeare did invent. Yeah, Shakespeare culture. invented like half of the English language. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mm, that doesn't feel like that. I'll just call it uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something else. Imagine like going to see a Shakespeare play and he's just rambling off a bunch of words that had never existed before. <laughs> and you're just you're just sat there like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. I paid to see this. <laughs> it's gibberish. Yeah. It's probably like uh, like modern day paintings. You just you're just probably afraid to say that you don't understand, you don't look stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to like a modern art gallery and you're like, I don't get it. And they're like, well, clearly it's a representation of capitalism and in the yeah. modern world. It's like, oh, I thought it was a pizza box on the floor. Yeah, it's a, probably it's how it went back then as well. Yeah. You're just afraid to say that they don't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, people, if you have questions, now is the time because this is going to be wrapping up. Yeah. Soon. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to call an end to it in a few minutes. But yeah, if you have any questions then fire away. Um but before we do finish up, uh I'll just remind everybody again about our community feedback form that we have open. Uh I'll put a link in the chat but essentially what it is is uh, it's a few questions about our live streams and about our discord community um, and it's a it's an opportunity for you guys to let us know what you think and what you might want to see going forward so you have an impact on the kind of content great on here sure and the a lot of the questions in there are optional 
So if you get if you're not part of our Discord community or you don't have Discord, you can skip most of those questions and just go straight to the Twitch ones or or whatever it is that you want to answer. Um, there's an opportunity at the end for you to put in your Discord username, and if you you'd like to do that, you can you'll be put in for a uh, opportunity to win two months of Discord Nitro. So it's well worth doing. I know a lot of people a lot of people like having Nitro. Pretty helpful. Especially when you're uploading pictures all day. Um uh, yeah, can put, I win that? Uh you cannot win that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. No. no. <laughs> it's like no. No you Please can't. <laughs> I love winning <laughs> things. <laughs> we talked about the story that I was in London and uh, uh, I like I was going out of the metro mm. and there is just a random person came by and he was like did you see this sign in the metro and I was like uh, I think so he's like did you see those people wearing those jackets in the metro I was like uh, sure I saw I saw some of them and he was like did you uh, see again this information board I was like yeah he was like, thank you. Here is here you go. 20, 20 pounds. I was like, Oh nice. What? <laughs> I was like, I was the that was the most uh pleasant earnings I, I've had in my life. Like wow. some person asked me like five questions and he, he gave me like twenty pounds. I was like, Can we do that again? That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Why does no one ever do that, that was... to me? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go so to good. London more. Yeah, it was like they were like adding information boards yeah. or something and I was just curious if like people were noticing them. Yeah. So good. I earned like twenty pounds. Oh yeah. What did you spend it on? I don't know, but it was uh, I will remember it for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Just earning something that you generally don't deserve and you're like, oh, Thanks. Yeah, no, that's nice. Cool. It's like finding like twenty pounds on the ground, I guess. Yeah. Although I feel like it kind of feels better when someone just randomly gives it to yeah. you. It's like oh. it goes like you earned it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you earned it <laughs> by doing nothing. <laughs> he he asked me a bunch of questions. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> It's looking kind of cool, at least on this monitor. I will just zoom in on the yeah. other one. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think it's nice. It looks cool. Um, can we can we see what we can do? Like, uh, there's like a bunch of like random effects. And not effects sure. Yeah, we'll cool. spend. Yeah, we'll spend the yeah. next few minutes just. And tools. I think there was like. <gasps> oh no! I mean, there there's. I can show bit uh, of the tools but i guess there is like uh, you can work in watercolors but you oh. cannot use them with the oil paint i guess that would be just, I'll, I'll open and show but just let, let me just sign this and, oh he's fancy uh, for a signature look at this uh let, let me show you some cool stuff I love how it always like makes those names admirable picture, <laughs> <laughs> like amazing drawing or something. <laughs> <laughs> but look now you have like a bunch of other. Oh, okay. I, I I went from like hating on the program and yeah, <laughs> you started off this stream about it, and now I'm yeah. just like uh, trying to look at oh. how cool that is. That is cool. It's really satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you also have like uh what was it? Yeah, you, you can do like what? two drops if you want. That's cool. Right. Yeah, cool. that's cool. cool. Oh let me just show you one more thing. Oh this. And you can do I will see. Do oh, like that. that's that's so cool. That's <laughs> that's really wholesome. 
Yeah, it, it feels nice. Yeah. Look at this. How it's... how much cooler does this look? Oh, it even has like a canvas texture on it as well. It does. That's that's really nice. That's a really cool touch. I like that a lot. Yep. It is. It's like looking at your art in like in a different light. Look how cool this looks. In yeah. A, in, in the border legit art not on your monitor i mean the bigger monitor that's too green but on, on this one <laughs> it looks great <laughs> hey it looks great on our monitors too okay oh that that's, that's nice. nice right right yeah hey you know, do you want some of those uh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as well? yeah. <laughs> i don't know yeah if she's still here Yeah, it's fun stuff. <laughs> is this the Mona, Mona Lisa? Lisa. Yes, yeah. It is. All right. No questions. No, I think, I think there, we is are. Is there even people watching? <laughs> I can't tell. Yeah, I yeah, no, yeah. We have the. Uh, there's 53 people watching right now. So. Nice. Yeah, but no, that was really nice. Um, thank you, Alex, for for coming along and showing us this. Uh, this new program has been nice and refreshing. See something other than Photoshop and changes the process quite a lot and seeing all of the uh, way the brush strokes interact with each other and everything. So pretty nice. Um, thank you everyone in chat as well for coming along and saying hello. It's nice to see everybody again. Um, our next stream will be with Melissa and it will be on Friday. So uh, tune into that. Uh, she'll be doing some winter creatures for us now that we're on our way on our way through December so come along it's always good fun when we have Melissa in here but until then uh, don't forget about the feedback form it's well worth it and good information for us um, so I will see you all on Friday so bye everybody bye people watching Ha, <laughs>